I got a bunch of reasons why you should buy the Sony a7 IV over the new Lumix S5 Mark II X. Let's get it. What's up, y'all? Tight Shirt Terry Warfield back for another video. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And remember to be thankful for your life today because you did not have to have that. On the table, I got two of the hottest full-frame mid-tier hybrid cameras out there, the a7 IV and S5 Mark IIx. Now, I made a comparison on the original S5 Mark II and the Sony a7 IV before, but the S5 Mark IIx comes to level the playing field in a lot of different ways. However, there's a lot of reasons why you still may want to buy the a7 IV over it. And in the next video, obviously, we'll do the opposite where we Reasons you should buy the S5 Mark II X. First of all, let's talk about megapixels. Now, remember, these are hybrid cameras, and I know some of y'all could be like, oh, the Lumix S5 Mark II is a video camera. Like, shut up. No, it's not. It's actually still a hybrid. So, 33 megapixels on the A7 IV versus 24 megapixels on the S5 Mark II X. What that means for you non techie people is more detail, more room to crop. There's kids upstairs, sorry. And also, because we got a higher megapixel sensor, what that means is in crop mode, we get 15 megapixels with the Sony A7 IV. The other thing is, since we're essentially starting with a 7K sensor versus a 6K sensor, the oversampling rates on the Sony A7 IV are higher than the S5 Mark II X. And what that means is slightly sharper video. Okay, so if that's important to you, the a7 IV for sure has more megapixels. The next thing we need to talk about is this freaking photo and video switch. This thing is game changer for people who shoot both. So with one click, bam, I'm in photo mode and bam, I'm right back in video mode. And there's still custom one, two, and three. So for people who shoot photo and video, this switch is game changing. The Lumix does have a custom one, two, and three, but there's no quick way to switch back and forth between photo and video like it is on the Sony a7 IV. Okay, so the next thing for us photography snobs is the Sony a7 IV does shoot higher mechanical FPS. So the Sony a7 IV could do 12-bit compressed RAW, 10 frames per second with full autofocus continuous, whereas the Lumix can only do seven. Now, if you do single point on the Lumix, you can go nine. And if you do uncompressed RAW on the Sony a7 IV, you could do seven. And I might've mixed those up. But what I'm saying is the Sony a7 IV as a whole can shoot higher FPS when it comes to mechanical shutter. However, I do have to mention that the S5 Mark II X can do 30 FPS in e-shutter, but we're talking about mechanical. So since we're still talking about photography, the Sony a7 IV does have a more advanced external flash control system if you use supported flashes over the S5 Mark II X. And to be honest, it has a much more competent autofocus system. Now, I'm not saying that the S5 Mark II X is bad, and I'm not saying that the original S5 Mark II is bad, but compared to the Sony a7IV's autofocus, no, it's the a7IV hands down. To be honest, there's been several situations, and I know I made some mistakes in my earlier videos making autofocus comparisons, right? Because I was new to the Lumix ecosystem. However, now that I fully understand it, there's still times where it just loses me for no reason whatsoever. The a7IV simply does not do that. It is much more confident as an autofocus and camera, and I just trust it more than I trust Lumix cameras when it comes to autofocus. So if that's important to you, a7 IV hands down. All right, next thing is live streaming. The original S5 Mark II did not have live streaming ability. The S5 Mark II X does have live streaming ability, but it uses the R2D2, RTMP, whatever protocol that it uses. And A7 IV uses the UAC, UVC protocol. And what that means for the non-techie people out there is with the S5 Mark II X, you could do like direct to YouTube and all that stuff, but you gotta jump through so many hoops to get it to work. The Sony A7 IV is literally boom, going to menu, turn it on, plug it up to a freaking computer. It shows up as a webcam. It's done. So if I had to choose between the two, Sony a7 IV when it comes to live streaming capability. Now, the next reason why you might wanna choose the Sony over Lumix is because of these bad boys right here, the digital onboard mics. And for content creators, these mics are huge. There's no batteries, there's no cables you have to worry about. It does all the processing on board and they sound fantastic. The Lumix S5 Mark II does have a digital shoe. However, Lumix hasn't come out with any digital solutions for people on the go. So there's no like shotgun, mics there's no digital lav mics or anything like that so i'm sure they're coming but right now sony a7 IV takes that w because of these mics the next thing and this is probably one of the most important things you need to consider lens ecosystem the sony a7 IV 
can use so many different freaking lenses. Sony by themselves have over 80 native E-mount lenses. Then you add in third-party support. You got Vilchox, Tamron, Sigma, Mikey, uh, uh, like there's 40,000 different companies that make lenses for Sony. The Lumix does have good quality lenses, don't get it twisted, but they're nowhere near as many of them. The Sony just has an option for everybody, focal lengths in every price range for everybody, and that's just something that you can't say about any other camera system out there. Now the Lumix S5 Mark II has absolutely freaking fantastic stabilization. However, the Sony a7 IV does record gyro data where the Lumix S5 Mark II does it. So that means you can stabilize it with Catalyst Browse. And to the Sony a7IV's point, the stabilization isn't as aggressive. So when you put on a wider lens, there's much less wobble than there is with the S5 Mark II X. So if that's important to you, Sony a7IV. Now, even though the S5 Mark II can record direct to SSD, it can't record to one of these bad boys right here. This is an Angel Bird, one terabyte CF Express Type A car. The S5 Mark II X simply does not record to CF Express type a at all sony can in my experience you do get better battery life out the sony a7 IV, not by a whole lot maybe about 10 to 15 percent over the s5 mark ii x in photo and video and i'm sure there's a thousand other little nuanced things out there that the a7 IV probably does better than the s5 mark ii x but those are the major ones that i could think of overall two fantastic cameras in the next video we're going to compare reasons why you should buy the s5 mark ii x over the sony a7 IV and trust me there are a lot of them so make sure you subscribe with notifications and all that stuff turned on. I hope this video was helpful to y'all. Don't make a decision till you watch the next video and I'm out of here. Tight shirt Terry Warfield. Peace of chick grease. I'll see y'all later. Peace.